Welcome to Hamdard Medico. Today in this very lecture I am going to explain the gross anatomy of the duodenum. So duodenum is the very first portion of the small intestine. The structure of the duodenum is resembling the English alphabet C. The length of the duodenum is about 20 to 25 cm. The lumen of the duodenum is the widest among the other portion of the small intestine. The duodenum can be divided into four parts. Most of the parts of the duodenum are retroperitoneal. It means that they are lying posterior to the peritoneum. This is exception for the first portion of the duodenum which is intraperitoneal and it is attached with a ligament that is called the hepatoduodenal ligament right now this is the very first portion of the duodenum this is called the first part or this is also called the superior part of the duodenum now this is we have the second part of the duodenum it is also called the descending part of the duodenum now this is we have the third part of the duodenum it is also called the uh, inferior part of the duodenum this is we have the fourth part of the duodenum which is also called the ascending part of the duodenum. Now let's talk about the first part of the duodenum. On the left side the first part of the duodenum is marked by an orifice that is called the pyloric orifice. Now on the right side the first part of the duodenum is bounded by a flexure that is called the superior duodenal flexure. You should remember that flexure is any bending in the intestines. Now at this very level we have the neck of the gallbladder. So these are we have the boundaries of the first part of the duodenum. Now regarding the length of the first part of the duodenum you should remember that it is about 2 inches or 5 cm long. Now the inferior limit of the second part of the duodenum is marked by the inferior duodenal flexure. The length of the second part of the duodenum is about 3 inches or 8 cm long. Now at the middle of the second part of the duodenum we have a projection that is called the major duodenal papilla. And the major duodenal papilla is actually emptying the biliary uh, products that are coming from the gallbladder via the bile duct and the pancreatic products through the pancreatic duct. Now you should remember that we have a minor duodenal papilla as well which is situated somewhat superior to the major duodenal papilla. But I have not mentioned that over here. Now the inferior duodenal flexure is lying at the level of the third lumbar vertebra. The length of the third part of the duodenum is about 4 inches or 10 cm and the length of the fourth part of the duodenum is about 1 inches or 2.5 cm. Now the junction between the duodenum and the jejunum is marked by a ligament that is called ligament of trads. This is all regarding the duodenum.